We're rolling. Tony. We're rolling. Will you get in the car with me and uh, you can put that camera on me while I make some changes? Yeah, I guess. In order to rewire the fuel pump, I'm gonna have to run a heavy gauge wire direct from the battery to the fuel pump location in the hatch area. I'm gonna use this eight gauge wire to get there. The electronic fuel pressure sending unit that I installed needs a power, ground, and a signal out to go to the ECU to log. I'm gonna use this wire here to do that. I'm gonna have to pass both of these wires through the firewall and into the passenger compartment. Always a fun job. For Joe, is that to log and monitor your fuel pressure? That's what it's for. I'm going to use an unused pen on ECM link, and I'll have to build a translation for the linear voltage that comes from this sensor and turn it into fuel pressure. Keep going. All right, that's good. Is that one of those nice lightweight rail race car batteries? No, no, no. Race car batteries are those real expensive lithium batteries. Oh. This one uh, is sort of a compromise between that and the stock battery. I feel like doing a fuel pump rewire without having actual results is kind of a waste so what we're going to do is measure the voltage on the stock fuel pump wiring um, and then measure the voltage on the rewire and see what the difference is. Look at that thing fire right up. Alright so let's check voltage here at the factory fuel pump wire and what do we have here? 11.35 volts. Let me try another ground just to see if it's any better or worse. No, that's about it right there. All right. That's a mighty big fuse you got there. It's a maxi fuse. It's kind of a big deal. All right, so let's see what we got for voltage now. 13.4, almost 13.5 volts. Right. That's a big improvement. Okay, so it's pretty easy to see that there's a big improvement in voltage there at the pump. That's more than two volts difference. I took a quick look at my base fuel pressure without pulling the vacuum line or anything, and my base fuel pressure at idle is up two PSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reset my base fuel pressure back to what I want it, and uh, call this a success. See you next time. Put cheese on it.